And that note is set to go into effect on Friday. The CDC hoping it will prevent homelessness while so many people are struggling to find work and pay their bills. New size Colette Bordelon, she's live tonight with what this eviction moratorium could mean for us here locally. Colette. Yeah, I reached out to the governor's office who says they're still reviewing this federal action to see if it'll actually help Coloradans or if it's just empty words. But this debate over the issue really revolves around who it could help and who it could hurt. And this is uh, much bigger, much more uh, dramatic and significant than we expected. Across the country, certain tenants no longer at risk of getting evicted. And certainly if it goes into effect on Friday, it will have the immediate effect of helping thousands of tenants here in Colorado avoid eviction. The temporary halt in residential evictions from the CDC says with the absence of any protections, up to 40 million Americans would be at risk of eviction. But this order doesn't relieve anyone of paying rent indefinitely. Those payments would be stacking up and people can still get evicted for other reasons. I don't think this is by any means a bad policy. I think it's going to stabilize thousands of families across the state and avoid mass homelessness. Um, but I don't think it goes far enough. Zach Newman, founder of the COVID-19 Eviction Defense Project, is calling for full federal rent relief. The Center for Disease Control meddling in this, you know, They've got bigger fish to fry. But the Colorado Apartment Association says we don't need this right now. These types of moratoriums uniquely hurt small landlords. Drew Hamrick says rent collections in Colorado are strong and evictions, at least the filings, are at a 20-year low. We hear stories all the time from retirees that this is their only source of income that can't make the mortgage payment because even though the payment rates remain high, their particular residents aren't paying. At the bottom of the document, a declaration that must be signed to qualify for this, where the tenant must say they've been trying to get assistance for housing, won't earn more than 99000 a year, and if they were evicted, would likely become homeless. Springs Rescue Mission says they haven't seen a noticeable increase in homeless people that they can attribute to the pandemic. I also reached out to Catholic Charities. They give out rental assistance, assistance locally. So far this year, they've given out 70 grand. Excuse me, on a busy year, they typically give 70 grand. This year, they've given out 350 grand. If you need any rental assistance, call 211. They'll help direct you. I'll also a link to that state fund on KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5.